Back in 1995 and 96, God began to lay on my heart the need for another school, a seminary type school in Charlotte, to educate men and women with the gospel, a school that would be legitimate, accredited, a school of true excellence, to take the word of God through our students, through the cities, to the world. Our department really seeks to prepare uh, women and men for ministry in the urban context. Uh, recognizing that uh, our world is becoming increasingly urbanized. We don't just practice our urban, in, our, our urban uh, emphasis in theory, we do it in real life. The, the program of this school is connected to what is going on in the community. In fact, all of our students should be involved in some way, in some area, in some organization, in some ministry within our urban community. We want that type of a partnership, not just in name, but in students being involved in lives of people who are living and working in the urban community. So New Life uh, prepares men and women called by God to ministry uh, to meet the needs of the urban community. CBS stands for Christian Vocation Scholarship. Uh, each year it helps 10 to 15 students. Uh, the scholarship was started back in 2003 and since then we've helped 130 plus students. I'm very grateful for the CVS scholarship. Uh, the funds I received allow me to continue my degree pursuit as a full-time student taking uh, at least four classes per semester. Um, I also appreciate very much the volunteer service requirement with the scholarship. Uh, I have a heart for missions and last summer uh, when I went on a mission trip to Jamaica uh, we partnered with a ministry here called Samaritan's Feet and we're able to take hundreds of pairs of shoes with us to distribute to the children to, we minister to in Jamaica and the smiles on their faces was priceless. Uh, so when I received the CVS scholarship I knew exactly what ministry I wanted to uh, complete my volunteer hours with and that was Samaritan's Feet because preparing shoes for distribution to hundreds of thousands of kids across the country and throughout the world is an amazing experience. It, we were able to share the gospel with them while we were giving them the shoes because we washed their feet and explained the story behind washing their feet so that we could uh, tell them, you know, you know, Jesus loves us and we love you. If it wasn't for scholarships like the CVS scholarship, um, I would have to cut back to part-time student status and maybe even take a break from school entirely. Receiving the, the CVS scholarship has been a blessing for me and my family. Uh, my husband and I are both students here at New Life. I actually work in three communities here in Charlotte and we do a lot of community work. We're out here, we're feeding kids, we, we're doing, participating in food programs through grants, um, doing beautifications, barbecues, truly uh, just doing door-to-door -door ministry. Um, a gentleman and his wife were going through uh, some difficult times. They aren't uh, churchgoers, so everyone faces difficulties. They have five little girls. But when we asked him, can we pray for you, or do you have any prayer requests, he said, yes, come on in. We went into the home, and we prayed with him. He spilled his heart out to us. It, it was just truly an amazing experience. And ever since that day, we've been great friends. He uh, volunteers uh, with us in the community, in the communities uh, that we work in. His daughters and his wife, are they're still together. They um, are stronger than ever together, and they're pursuing a relationship with Christ. The CVS scholarship has uh, provided extra funds for not only us to continue on with our education and finish uh, next year, but we've been able to use the funds for books. I really want to do counseling is 
what my goal is to finish here is to come out and do a, a counseling for addicts and uh, drug and alcohol abuse. I told them that I couldn't afford it. Um, just like any other seminary, it's expensive. And uh, so went home and prayed about it, kept praying about it. And, uh, about two or three weeks later, Miss Hemphill called and said that they wanted to give me a $20,000 scholarship. It's a covenant grant. Um, it pays for uh, four years. I think it's $2,500 a semester. Uh, you have to go full time, take uh, four classes. Um, and you have to do every semester, you have to do uh, 50 hours of community service. I do a homeless ministry in Charlotte, downtown Charlotte. Um, I go every other weekend to uh, it's a place called Pfeiffer Avenue. Some people call it the Wall. Uh, take supplies down to the homeless. One day I, was, I went and I asked the guy, I said, uh, let me pray for you, you know, what can I pray for you about? And all he wanted was a book bag. He didn't want a house, he didn't want a car, he didn't want food. He needed a book bag to carry his stuff around. And that puts a lot of stuff in per perspective that, you know, that's all he needed. So I prayed for him a book bag, and he got it. So God provide for, provided for him. I've always had a special place in my heart for uh, people that need help, whether it's homeless, whether it's uh, older people, whether it's young kids, just people that need a little help. Not uh, a handout, as they would say, but just a hand to pull them up. The, the scholarships have provided the resources that I've, been, that I've needed to be able to continue to go to school on a full-time basis. I was able to do my um, volunteer hours through, um, at Progressive Baptist Church. Where they do an after-school program with children. Um, it's here in Charlotte off of Clanton Road and that was a that was um, a great experience for me. They have an after-school program uh, about 25 or 30 children that come in every day after school and we do homework with the children and make sure that um, if there's any tests that they're having that week that they need to study for we were able to help them prepare for whatever's going on in school that week um, and then afterwards we just have a snack and we're able to spend some time together and I was able to hear about their day and their life and just whatever was going on and um, maybe encourage them and they were definitely an encouragement to me. I, I think sometimes we don't really understand um, the impact that a couple hours a day um, with children after school when otherwise they would have been alone at home, um, how God can use that to impact their lives. Um, personally, uh, academically, we're helping them study, and but most of all spiritually. We just never know the impact that we're going to have by I'm investing in their lives. The scholarships has provided um, financial resources for me to be able to continue to go to school here full time. Um, if, without the scholarships, um, I would probably not be able to go on a full time basis, um, if at all. My goal is to find ways and to develop ways and to begin to walk in ways that's helping people to come to salvation in Christ. Because they dealt with church planning specifically here, my heart was drawn here and I'm thankful for that. I'm a recipient of the CVS scholarship which requires me to do volunteer work. Uh, I'm currently uh, work with a nonprofit company that I've developed and we work in the community of Monroe, North Carolina helping people to understand and receive financial literacy, uh, understanding how to budget their um, home finances and things of that manner. There was a gentleman that he had been trying to buy a house. Couldn't buy a house, had bad credit, everything was going wrong, and he came to one of our programs, learned how to get his credit scores up, how to balance his budget, how to get his you know debt together. Within 90 days, he was able to get his scores increased by about 120 points, and he bought his home. He came in with tears, a grown uh, man that came in with tears and just wrapped his arms around me and just thanked God that we were able to help him. I would not be able to be here if it wasn't for the scholarship. 
Um, the school I was going to before was, you know, would not allow, wouldn't have these types of scholarships. So the scholarship has allowed me to come to school as well as my wife. She's here now too. We're excited to uh, be a partner with New Life Theological Seminary and have enjoyed a long-standing relationship with the school. We support their efforts in diversity as well as their uh, campaign to build relationships in urban centers uh, throughout the region. We're thrilled to be a contributor to the annual fund event and what that will mean for creating scholarships because education is a priority for not only the foundation but the bank as well. Each year since 2003, we have pulled together friends and donors of the seminary, people who have a love for the mission and purpose, people who have a love for pastors, and we've pulled them together to help raise money to support those who have a need. The scholarships that we offer are needs-based. I believe that churches and Christian leaders have a moral, ethical, and biblical responsibility to train the next generation of pastors and church leaders. We are committed for next year for $104,000 to go out in scholarships. And we would like to raise at least $50,000 of that during the banquet here this evening.